On this beautiful lavender wedding cake, I'm starting with a large star tip. And in my piping bag, I have white chocolate ganache. I'm piping little rosettes by starting in the center and circling around. I pipe them in opposite directions, one clockwise, one counterclockwise, and so on and so forth. I'll be covering the entire 10 inch tier with these beautiful rosettes. After I have all those rosettes piped, I'll go ahead and fill in the spaces with little stars. Actually, it's kind of a big star. Then I have these little purple dragées, or pearls, whichever you prefer to call them. And I'm putting one in the center of each rosette. Moving on to the 8 inch tier, I'm using a little quilt pattern. I'll slightly rub that just so I can have a guideline. On the corner here, I'm just going to fold it over and continue the design on the next side. Now that I have those guidelines, I'm going to use my bench craper and really press into the fondant, creating those deep grooves. Definitely makes it look more natural that way, like a real quilt. I'll do that in both directions. You can see at the corners it kind of puffs up. I love that look. On my brush I have a little piping gel. I'm going to put them on these little X's. And that will help these little dragées stick really well. See, that one's sticking to my tweezers. I'll make three rows of those beads. I'm also going to continue the quilt design on the top of the tier, just on the edge. No need to run it to the center. And once that tier is done, I get to start on my favorite tier. I printed out this scroll design on Google and I attach it to the cake with just a couple of pins. And I used a mechanical pencil without the lead to press the design into the fondant. Once I have that entire design transferred onto the cake, then I'll take my purple royal icing and a number one round tip. And I'll just pipe over that entire design. This is my favorite part of this cake. I love hand piping designs. And it's such a beautiful purple too. And of course, I will add some dots around the design. Dab those points off with a wet paintbrush. I'm putting this same design on all four sides of the six inch tier. And then it'll be time to stack that cake. I already have supports pressed into the 10 inch tier. And I'm using white chocolate ganache as a glue. You never want to stack cakes without supporting them first, unless you want them falling into each other, which I don't. And I'll lay that 8 inch right on top of the 10 inch. And I'll do the same with the 6 inch cake. 
Between the six inch and eight inch, I'm doing a small little pearl border. Between the eight inch tier and the 10 inch tier, I'm putting elongated shells. And that cleans up the design so well. I hope you loved this cake as much as I do. Thank you for watching me decorate. I do hope you learned something. I appreciate all the comments you guys leave. I do read them all, so feel free to leave more. And if you like this cake design, you also might like this winter cake I made. Check out that video. If you can't see it on the screen, check the description box and I'll have a link. Until next time, bye.